Well, Mr. President, the challenge that you have is the data you have is wrong. In the long list of outlandish comments made by the President of the United States that have been committed to tape, this weekend's hour-long call to the Georgia Secretary of State may be the one historians most remember and study. It's unbelievable, except that it isn't. I heard someone else say it's shocking but not surprising. I think it's surprising, but as well as shocking. The call recorded Saturday and obtained by the Washington Post shows the president repeating debunked allegations about ballot dumping and machine tampering and urging Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger to use those or whatever evidence he could conjure to recalculate the results of the election. You should want to have an accurate election. And you're a Republican. We believe that we do have an accurate election. No, I no, you don't. No, no, you don't. You don't have. You don't have. Not even close. You got. You're off by hundreds of thousands of votes. There was a phrase that Trump used in the phone call that was, "This could be bad for you in many ways," and that's not quite it, but something like that. That did sound pretty close to a threat. You know what they did, and you're not reporting it. That's a. You know, that's a criminal. That's a criminal offense. And, and you know, you can't let that happen. That's, that's a big risk to you and to Ryan, your lawyer. That's a big risk. But they are shredding ballots, in my opinion, based on what I've heard. And they are removing machinery. Uh, and they're moving it as fast as they can, both of which are criminal fines. And you can't let it happen. And you are letting it happen. You know, I mean, I'm notifying you that you're letting it happen. Nothing's more scary than you're sitting there and a president or a governor says to you, you know something? You know, you better look into this because you could have criminal responsibilities. That is very disconcerting. Democrats have expressed outrage at the phone call. Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill, who voted to impeach Trump last year for what she thought was an effort to undermine the nation's electoral system then, says Trump's goal in Georgia was clear. Our election system is how we express the will of the people in this country. And so I think when you have a president that's actively trying to to bring down our democracy and our democratic systems, that's an impeachable offense. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have. I think you have to say that you're going to re-examine it, and you can re-examine it, but, but re-examine it with people that want to find answers, not people that don't want to find answers. The one New Jersey Republican who stood up for the president is gubernatorial candidate Doug Steinhardt. Once again, the media has taken the president out of context to fit their narrative, he said in a statement today. But the truth is he, that is Trump, is democracy's greatest champion at the moment. Words, for all their impact, are just words, but this is an unpredictable president, and what actions he can or will take over his last 16 days in office are still a cause for concern to many. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News. (laughs) 